gotten really lucky when yeah. you kind of take it all in. Locally, we're just dealing with the, the heat. The but heat. Very high temperatures. And there is relief in sight. Okay, it's good going, news. It's good gonna, news. It's going to take a couple days, but I believe by the middle part of this upcoming work week, we're going to see a big time change Notice in it. the mugginess. Awesome. Yeah, so that's going to change. It's going to change for the better. Let's start with what's going on, though, in the bigger picture, and that's that storm system that's going to eventually bring that relief. It's still developing to our northwest. So here's your looping radar over the past six hours. Notice this widespread cluster of showers and thunderstorms that's been moving through portions of uh, southern Wisconsin, now across Lake Michigan, now moving into northern Illinois. So that's the storm system that's going to eventually move in for us, but we've got a lot of dry time. It's still significantly off to our northwest. So if you do have plans to head to the state fair today, it's just going to be heat and humidity we'll be dealing with before those rain chances really look to build in after about five o'clock tonight. 76 degrees at 9 a.m. by noon. We're already up to 87, 91 by 2 p.m. And we're looking at highs in the low 90s once again this afternoon. Again, those rain chances do look like they're going to hold off until the evening for most of us. Here's that latest timeline. When you walk you through this hour by hour, going to take us through about 5 p.m. Here comes the rain in the northwestern part of the state first. So our friends up in Lafayette near Monticello, northwestern Indiana get in on these scattered showers first. Eventually, the storm system will track to the south. By about 10 p.m., we'll start to see these rain chances really increasing and keeping those scattered showers around in the forecast during the overnight. Now tomorrow, starting off with again a stray shower earlier on, temperatures will once again rebound back to the 80s. Looks like nearing 90 for a high tomorrow. All of this in advance of the actual cold front moving through. So still going to be dealing with that heat, humidity, stray pop up showers and storms for your Monday. And then Tuesday is that true tra uh, transitional day. So this is around 5 p.m. on Monday. Notice it's not going to be an all day washout. We will have some scattered rain in the area, but that's going to increase as we get into our Tuesday. Here's 7 a.m. Here comes that boundary. Widespread showers and thunderstorms going to be a possibility through Tuesday afternoon. And then eventually we see that change in our air mass. There goes that frontal system. This is going to take us all the way through Wednesday. High pressure will then build in. More importantly, that northwest wind that goes along with that area of high pressure will usher in some of that drier, more comfortable air. So the muggy meter is going to start to drop here as we get into our Wednesday. Everything clears back out. Now, Wednesday, especially if you're in southern Indiana, with that boundary that's slowly still going to be exiting, we might still see a stray shower to area south Wednesday. For the rest of us, though, we're going to continue to clear everything back out. Beyond that, looks like a really nice setup here. We've got 82 with the showers and thunderstorms on Tuesday, 84 with rain clearing out of the south, and then we bring back the sunshine. 85 degrees on Thursday. Very pleasant as we look ahead on Friday with those dew points that will drop back into the 50s. It's going to feel like a completely different season by the end of next week, and we'll call it dry, partly cloudy, 83 to start next weekend.